Thankfully, quite a short list for today. Uh, usual bumps and bruises after the game. Uh, the biggest concern is JJ Engelbrecht, who took a big knock to his quad muscle, and he's got a big contusion there. It's actually on the other side to the one he had previously. So it's just unlucky, though. You know, it's the way he plays, and you know, he's got a big, big knock there, some bleeding in the muscle. Um, we'll make a decision on his availability later in the week. Apart from that, as I said, usual bumps and bruises. Uh, we might need to manage a couple of guys uh, today and tomorrow in terms of training. Um, but otherwise, yeah, lucky to come through pretty much unscathed. Yeah, you know, that uh, we accept the decision. There's no use uh, making excuses about that. Um, you know, get it over and done and look forward and uh, want to go positive into training today. So th- those things happen and uh, we have to accept it. There's no other reason or, you know, other way. And um, just get it behind us and move on. Again, please take it in the right way. I don't totally agree. Uh, I think the one position we offer in South Africa is number five locks. Uh, you know, Peter Steffs probably hasn't even played more than 10 Super Rugby games there. Uh, although John Ray is there, that's great, but you also need to want someone on the bench. So uh, we'll definitely look at Franku van der he's always been in the squad. And uh, Peter Steffs is more long-term, long-term uh, planning with him. And uh, but he's a great, great player, but you're number five lock, especially against the New Zealand All Blacks. They made huge improvements in their lineup contesting. They're probably up there with the best now. So uh, you can't just throw in a rookie for the Wolves. No, no, I don't think so. I think firstly there's uh, mostly 15 Australians on the field that doesn't want you to get a point. Um, you know, that's the main reason. Uh, usually, you know, every game's got its own personality and if you're 20 points up, with all due respect to them, then you, got, you go into a different mindset where you just want to, whatever you do, just keep the score down. Where it's a 50-50 game, both teams score, it's easier to score four tries because they also try and score tries. So, uh, but not just that, you know, I thought we were very clinical in the beginning, that was a, that's the game plan. Build the innings, and I thought we got loot, lose at, at, at times. Uh, obviously, being wet doesn't help, and uh, quite slippery. But I must also say that uh, they played much better the second half. They really came out firing, and uh, we were very close to things. Also, think sometimes just need to have more patience there. And, and you know, right at the end, we had one or two phases that we could have could have scored. I say this in the right mind frame, so please don't quote me wrong. You know, when Brian Stry, the referee, said advantage over, and uh, Brian was on his way to score, and then he said he made a mistake. So he needs some luck as well. But again, scoring three tries against the, the Wallabies uh, to one, and I think we scored 12 tries to two in the last three games, you know, must be some sort of, of, of great attacking rugby. So I'm going to take that away. The main thing was to win, and I'm very happy that we've won to give us a chance to, to go into this game. The only thing that's good enough this week is going to win. You know, it's to go out there and to win. And uh, got a lot of respect for the All Blacks. Uh, I think there's a lot of mutual respect. They're quality side, you know, they're a really quality side. And um, they've been together for quite some time. And one thing people don't know, their kicking game probably is the, is the best in the world. And that's one thing that we've fallen behind. Uh, they kick and regain possession and they pitch under pressure of their kicking game and score from there. We want to go out there and play positive. Don't take it in the wrong way. for a lot of respect for them. But we have to go out there positive. I always believe that whatever the mind can conceive and believe we can achieve. So we need to go out there positive and try and score four tries. Saying that, in a sense, is a huge challenge and saying that you have to take risks and the way they play, uh, they put you under pressure and play from your mistakes but I'm a big believer, I believe I'm very competitive and uh, obviously it will be great to, just to beat them but you either go for the four tries or you don't so and that's a decision we had to make um, you know, I haven't spoken to the team this morning but I'll definitely want a team to go for the four tries it's going to be very very difficult because like I said they can't get a try and the more you want to score tries the game's going to open up and they will get chances to score but uh, you can't you know, you can't be in a two mindset you're either going to go for that and, uh, you know, there's a chance you can lose the game or you're going to play safe and try and win the game. So you can't, but I believe you can't be in two mindsets. I believe. You know, one thing about the All Blacks, and uh, this is not PR talk, because they've been together for so long, and, and uh, I think where they get it right, and we're moving in that direction, so don't take it as a negative. I truly believe we get it, we're getting it right at the moment, and especially this year. I think the great thing about the All Blacks is that uh, they use the whole system to better their side. Uh, if you look, if you just take the All Blacks, say, three, four years ago, and I, I spoke to Steve Hansen about that, you know, South Africa mauled well, and whenever we kicked the box kick, especially when Fari played nine, they were in trouble because they didn't have wingers that could turn. Uh, we let, got a lot of uh, turnovers from that, and a lot of their wingers weren't good in the air. And I'm not going to mention the players that play there, but suddenly, you know, they're playing fullbacks on wing, and uh, I was surprised how, how great they were under the high ball. Their nines kick, picking, kicking great box kicks, and uh, they're very, very good in the air. You know, both their wingers are superb in the air getting ball back. And if you get that ball back, then um, you're in an attacking mindset because the position is falling back and there's no defence. So the one thing where they get it right is they, uh, they go out with a plan in the beginning of the year, a four-year plan, 
and all their franchises works on specific points where they feel they've got a weakness and they work together to improve that weakness. So you don't fix it with one or two coaching sessions, you don't fix it at the box. So I think that the thing that we, uh, and I, I believe we, we're closing the gap, the one thing that we got right, although we're not centrally contracted this year, is that we went through all the franchises, we worked on a lot of things, and we give them our inputs and uh, they're starting to work, but that's, that's not the overnight thing. Uh, I truly believe a lot of the other things we've caught up, but the one thing we, we're far behind is, uh, believe it or not, our kicking game. Uh, if you look at the stats in our kicking game, you know, we only win, I think, before last week, four out of 20 balls, where they are almost on 80%. I think we really caught up is the, is the breakdown. We were brilliant in the breakdown there, and I think we won the most balls on the ground in the competition. We, I got criticised not for picking specialist open sides at one stage. So we, we, we're catching up in a lot of areas, but they are a quality side, and they work together as a nation. We've addressed that, and uh, I believe we're working together as well, and I want to thank all the franchises for helping us. Thank all